before. Whatever, though. We're about to be schooled right here in some Smash, okay? We are still learning. Oh, even wow. after commentating all these years, let's go ahead and get it. I love seeing the em Fire Emblem characters fight each other, and I can't wait for another Fire Emblem character to join <laughs> the game again. It's going to be great. Oh, so, yeah. Hey, <laughs> it actually might be hype. I, what I will say is Byleth looks like one of the cooler Fire Emblem characters. Like, you know, we got Lucina. Oh, look, cool. Sword at medium speed. Uh -huh. We got Boy. Yeah. Sword at fast speed. Prom. Same thing. Fast speed, you know. Mars. Uh, not Mars. Mars. The same thing as Lucina, but worse. But, like, Byleth is like, you know what? Screw all the normal stuff. Yeah. I'm going to switch it up, and I'm faster than Corrin. Yeah, I think it's when it comes to character variety. I think Byleth and Robin are probably the two most, like, unorthodox of all the problem characters. Because the next tier down, you got Corrin, who's kind of like the other four. And then I, and then Prom, Roy, Lucina, Mark. But, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm down for Byleth. I was a little upset. I've seen the trailer. But then I understood why that character needed to be there. And it gives me hope for the future as well, too. But the same can't be said right here. For this Roy. He's going to need a little bit more than hope oh. to bring himself out of this. He's off stage right here, and of course, when it comes to edge guarding, some of these swordsmen, you know that the recovery options are very, very linear, very easy to scout out, and very easy to punish, as you can see right here. All right, hopefully not too much pressure right now on Zin because he's coming out from Costa Rica, and it looks like this is his first stream, stream match ever in his life in America. So hopefully he's be able to, you know, make this, bring this back and definitely not try to get restock. That would be a little rough for his first game, but it is best three, so let's we'll see what happens. All he needs is one jab back there. Well, it's a little too early. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, nice. Gets Ooh. the impeachment. Oh, my gosh. Goodbye. Yes, goodbye. Wow. Good Akko bye. is doing amazing right now. His tag is damn, and that was definitely a... A damn right there, you know? Yeah, so that was a, I mean, just very Osmo Lucina play. That wasn't anything like out of the ordinary that we've never seen before. It was just Lucina play at its highest extent. You mm -hmm. find a character, obviously Roy might be a little bit stronger than Lucina. What do you do? You find that character's weaknesses, exploit them. It works out, man. So, like, right now, you know, still doing a good job. Uh, he's going to bring it back. You got three stock, but this yeah. time you're going to three stock your opponent, hopefully. Hey, hey. Oh, we got Lilac. That's interesting. I rarely ever see people pick the stage, it usually gets banned. And then the other person doesn't want to pick it anyway. Yeah. But well, this is a mix-up. Let's we'll see if this works out. Secret Co secret Costa Rican special. That's right. Ooh, falling up there. Nice. Really good combo starter from Roy. The issue is getting in on Lucina close enough to even get any of your combos started. That's the that's the biggest issue that Roy's having here. Because, like, if you miss space or area or any movement properly with Roy, you just don't get anything. You, just get, you get the butter knife. Ooh, All right. Not a lot that better. Time. Okay. Off stage again. Is he going to get edge, guard edge guarded? Lucina is looking really good at edge guarding. And some of the air-to-air -air interactions don't really hurt Sin very much. I mean, until, like, later percents where obviously the air-to-air is kind of hit you off stage. But, yeah. you know, if you can get the sweet part of all your aerials and all your normals, you know, in some of these stray situations with Lucina, you might actually be okay. But that's to say you even get your feet back onto the ground right here. Obviously, Ayo playing, Ayo, excuse me, playing the floor is lava here. Ooh, if that back air actually sweet spot, that probably would have been it. All he needs is one good back air. He needs to get away from the ledge. And here we go. Oh, no. He went a little too high. He was not expecting it. So it looks like... Uh, Akko is going to live a little bit longer. And uh, I can't say that the Roy gameplay is bad, but I just don't know how I feel about the reactionary play style that he's bringing to the tape. He's almost letting Akko, like, do something first. Yeah. Because typically in a matchup, the opponent attacks first. Roy is so quick that he can punish properly with, like, Nair or, you know, Jab or whatever. But in this case, a lot of what Lucina tosses out is, you know, kind of safe. Yeah. You know, it's spaced properly. So it makes the task hand getting in that much more difficult for him. Yeah. I feel like also he could go aggressive. Um, and put the pressure on Lucina. I feel like Lucina is the one that's putting the pressure when Roy can swing faster. And there goes that back air sneaking in, get that KO. That's right. 91% though already on Sin. Yeah, a little late into the game right here to getting the aggression started though, but you know what though? Roy with a little bit of rage can make a little bit of match happen. Oh, very smart with her not to finish the full animation there of the double edge the dance. All right. Nice. Okay, that's some damage right there. Definitely not going to get a combo starter off on that one, but it is a good way to get some damage. Oh yeah. All right, up in the air, I like that. Okay, I love that. Kind of pinning him down right here on the left side of the stage, taking the platform away from him. Ah, up underneath, yes, get wow. off of me. Knew he was probably going to have to go for the high recovery, but there is a trade right there. It's a little late on the trigger, and Aiko is actually able to beat him to the punch, or I guess the, the slice that time. Oh, that might be it. That's it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, he's... Oh, no, he saved Wait, his jump. What? His jump. Wait, oh, wow. Man. This Isn't actually it? worked it out in his favor, because Lucina was only at 50-something percent. Saving his jump. Very good job. Maybe he might be able to bring this back. Uh -huh. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Ooh. Okay, okay. Let me get that one little F smash to the ledge. Okay. Or actually, his side B is better because it's multi hit. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, spot dodge really good in this game here for some of these characters. Nice. Again, try to give, uh, you know, give out a lot of platform pressure, you know, but again, you got to really make sure that with the problem characters, you got to make sure that your approach options aren't linear, you know, that the opponent can't quite see it coming because once uh, any of these characters get 
punished up close and personal. They can all punish each other pretty easily uh -oh, for the most there part. There we go. Just the jab back here, though. Close it out. There we go. No need for nerfs on this character. Jab to back here gets that clean. Coming out from our boy Sin. Costa Rica. Let's go. <laughs> all right, let's see if he's able to keep that up. Get From going three stocks to winning the match, stuff like that can happen in this game. I do feel like the Lucina had complete control over that match, yeah. and then he basically SD'd going for that crazy edge guard where he could have gotten a two stocks. I understand. But he should have played it safe. I like, don't blame him, yeah. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I'm going to blame him, man. Like, like you going to? Like, okay, I feel like you do that if you're like, I'm going to win this. If I lose this, whatever, I win the next one. Okay. So if he wins this one with the two stock, then I'll be like, you know what? Go for it. Go for it. Yeah, maybe he should have took more into consideration if he had his jump or not. But, I, I mean, it's like, you know, you've gotten so many edge guards, especially in that first game on him. You're like, yeah, just start swiping and see what happens. Yeah. Kind of like me on Tinder. I'm no. sorry. But uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, me too. Hey. Hey, hey. Okay. Right. That, though. But here we go. Okay, can he get the edge guard? Down B? Oh. No, no counter. Not quite nice. Doesn't quite get the back where he's looking for, but does get some stage control here finally. And again, there's the air to air. Oh, I thought he almost caught the jump right. That would have been crazy. Cannot roll in. Doesn't even matter. He did not roll in, and he still got caught out. Very good catch coming out from Akko. And doing a fantastic job, only 54%. Again, let's hopefully, hope we don't see those SD attempts at edge guarding. But this is looking like that situation I thought that it might be, which is what you said, too, like, where it is worth it. Because even if he did lose that game, he's like, you know what? I'll just get a two-stock the next game. And he knows maybe he'll get a three. That's right. Ooh, that's, oh, that's it. Little dip, uh, well, he burns the air dodge. Ooh. Yes. And that's exactly what we should have seen there in the last game instead of just the four airs out into the magnifying glass. Very, very good stuff right here from Aiko. Oh, my gosh. Doing a wonderful job right here. Just edge guarding and just keeping Sin at bay. Nice. Love the delay, too, on the four there. As if the move couldn't be any more difficult to deal with, then, you know, the Fargo characters can delay it. Yeah. You know, just adding to the mix up. Did he waste his jump already? That's interesting. I thought I would expect an air dodge, but right now we still have Akko doing really good. And again, Patek's getting that two stock that he's looking for. Edge guard, down B? No. Oh, goes high that time. Oh, but no. Nair. I thought we actually would have seen a turnaround for it just because it comes out so quick. And he was pretty close. Or is actually really cool. Mm. I should play this more. But here we go. All right, all Lucina needs is one F smash, and this Lucina loves to go for F smash and side beats for KO. All right, both weak hits on that one. Yeah, that's unfortunate to see right here. Nice, gets the one hit, man, right into the four smash. That is Lucina. Special closes it out. Pretty dominant fashion, but that second game, though, looked pretty good for yeah, Sin. Yeah, definitely did look pretty good. It looks like the situation did work out in his favor. He was feeling really confident in that second game, and he did lose the uh, game, but it's not going to matter much. It's not like it's pools where... You know, win count matters, you know, round robin pools. Mm -hmm. Remember back in the day, people used to love like round robin pools? They used to really like it. It was like way back in Brawl. Okay. But like when we tried to switch to bracket pools like this, people were mad. They were like, people don't like change, especially people in Smash. Mm -hmm. What? A new character? Ah! <laughs> okay, Dante. first of all, okay. First of all, you're not just going to slide that in there, okay? <laughs> okay. They like that change. They do like that okay, change. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> they do, they do. They do like that change. Because once upon a time, DLC was unheard of. Yes, that's true. back in Brawl, there was no connectivity like that to Nintendo. It was just, here's the game, hold that. There were yeah. no patches. There were no updates. I'm pretty happy about the patches. I think they're still doing a pretty good job mm -hmm. with the patches. So props to Nintendo on that one. Mm -hmm. I look forward to seeing some more. I realize that they're starting to slow down on the patches a bit. Like they are. In the beginning of the game, they're like, okay, we have to fix these fix things. Fix these things. But now it's just like, eh, this game is like chilling, which I do think so too. Mm -hmm. You know, so we don't need to change that much. But yeah, I'm still hoping for a couple more, though. I feel like they were probably just afraid, too. They're like, we brought everybody back. We got so many stages, you know, and, and bringing all these characters back is going to bring back old players from back in the day. Let us just nip it in the bud right away and just, you know what I'm saying, get things fixed, get things patched, get things corrected so we don't hear about it. Granted, obviously, you can never make the perfect game, but we're just not hearing as many complaints as what we did in the previous installment. So, you shout to Nintendo for that. And also, thanks for making Link good. Oh, I'm yes. I'm excited about that. Yes, I am still playing Link. I love Link. And I want to see some more of it.